How to get maximum score on the ILTS exam. Let's go. Experience of studying ILTS band overall non score. General experience for studying and taking the IELTS exam. General experience contains three steps. Step 1. Make a plan to conquer IELTS. Step 2. Specific practice methods. Step 3. Practice English vocabulary and grammar. Step 1. We will make a specific plan on paper. Before learning tips to get a high score in the IELTS exam, you need to create a study plan that suits you and practice seriously every day. IELTS requires for skills. Listening, speaking, reading, writing. If you are weak in any skill, you should focus more on that skill. Make a to-do list. The more specific, the better. For example, learn techniques for task 2 in the speaking test by listening to podcasts, reading for English articles, taking practice tests every day, etc. Use a calendar to mark your self-study process, what you have done and what you have not done compared to your goals. Note, if you miss something, be persistent and start over. We need to prepare to learn some methods as tools to help students easily accept lesson and analyze the IELTS test better. Learners need to change their original thinking to make learning more effective. Apply the linear thinking method to make learning more convenient. 1. Proactively identify information. 2. Retrieve information and simplify content. 3. Connections between sentences. 4. Find connections between sentences to guess the meaning of words. 5. From there, grasp the main idea of the reading. Learn vocabulary and grammar according to mind maps. However, there are many vocabulary learning methods that have been applied before. 1. There are people who, when they were in school, were often given quite long lists of vocabulary along with synonyms and antonyms of those words to memorize. But with this method, those vocabulary can only be remembered until there are tests. To later, vocabulary learning developed in the direction of learning vocabulary by topic. Although this method helps learners remember longer, it is still quite difficult to apply them in daily life. 3. Finally, the most effective model is learning vocabulary using mind maps. This model not only arranges words related to the same topic together, but also follows the same sequence of ideas when speaking, making vocabulary easier to apply and remember longer. The picture on the right is the brain's time to memorize new vocabulary and a few mind maps for you to self-study and develop your own vocabulary learning ideas. Step 2. Specific practice methods. The rate of reviewing speaking and writing items is at 60%. Listening and reading section is about 40%. Try to spend at least four hours a day and one hour on each skill. Spend more time practicing difficult sections. When you make many mistakes, you will have more knowledge when trying to fix them. Practicing grammar with complex structures and difficult vocabulary by creating sentences with specific context will help you improve your score significantly. Spending time watching English movies will help you entertain yourself and have more time to review without feeling pressured. And that is also the key to achieving an IELTS score of 9.0 in all for skills. Learners need to understand their strengths and weaknesses to allocate their review time most effectively, such as taking competency tests before setting a review roadmap. The secret to improving your English is to use a foreign language to learn more deeply about your personal interests. For example, watching movies without subtitles in your native language reading newspapers, listening to foreign music. Living with the language helps you feel both ways of both relaxation and entertainment, as well as an opportunity to learn more easily. Step 3. Practice English vocabulary and grammar. Use a small notebook to write down new vocabulary and definitions or make any necessary notes. Use new words as many times as possible in daily activities. Creating visual associations with new vocabulary will help you remember them longer. Ask a friend or teacher to help you test new vocabulary or use them to practice IELTS speaking or writing. Read your favorite English magazines such as World News, BBC, CNN, New York Times. Refer to more IELTS listening practice channels on YouTube such as Learn English with Emma, Academist English Bowl, IELTS Ryan. Learn the structure of the IELTS test and develop a strategy to conquer the four test sections IELTS listening, IELTS speaking, IELTS writing, IELTS reading. At the same time, you should spend at least 10 English collocations and new vocabulary on common topics in the IELTS test. Education, health, media, work, energy, environment, communication information, people, houses, etc. Dart, dart, dot, closing parenthesis. When encountering some vocabulary that is too difficult, the reader does not need to understand that word to grasp the content of the whole lesson. Most likely, the paragraph after that will give an example or concept for that word. 
When learners reach scores of 8.0 to 9.0 for speaking and writing skills, they need more logical, critical thinking and multidimensional views to solve problems effectively. To achieve optimal IELTS results, candidates must master different skills for each test section. Candidates should plan early and spend about 6 to 12 months studying to avoid being too pressured, leading to ineffective learning. IELTS tests will have traps if candidates complicate the problem, learn tricks, and do not focus on improving their skills. Thanks for watching. If you find the video useful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel so we can be motivated to make more quality videos.